Muhammad says, I am a man. Do my parents have the right to regulate who my future wife is? If I marry with my own choice and they don't approve, do I lose the reward of birrul walidain? Birrul walidain is being dutiful to your parents. Now, being dutiful to your parents does not mean that you destroy your life and the life of a woman you're not interested in getting married to. This is something we have to be clear. I love my parents. I adore them. I'm dutiful to them. I'm obedient to them. I respect them the most. I'm willing to do whatever I can to please them. But there are things in life that they have no control of. For example, I'm inclined to engineering. And my father, my father's wish is that I study medicine. I may make it in medicine college, but it's not what I want. And my father insists that he wants a doctor in the family. My advice, do not obey your father and go towards what you feel comfortable more in and what you would be productive. Because obeying your father is something that has harm on you and brings him no real benefit is not mandatory. Not only that, it can be prohibited. Now, my mother insists, marry my niece. Take your cousin. She's a good woman. I want you to marry her. And you feel that she is a sister to you. You cannot marry your sister. Or you feel that you're not at all attracted to her. She is of a different personality than you. You are inclined to things that she doesn't like and she's inclined to things that you don't definitely desire. This is a prescription to failure. Maybe the marriage would last for a year or a bit less or more. Inevitably, it's going to end. And sadly, it usually does end with baggage, meaning that she's pregnant or she has a couple of kids and you can't go on and you divorce her. So today, your mom insists, don't think today, think five years down the line. Do you, think, do you see yourself married to the same woman? So I don't want to think. No, you have to think. Always think of the consequences. To tell you the truth, I think that I may last for a couple of years, not five. Maybe with reconciliation, with my mom's crying and people advising me, it would reach five years, but then definitely it won't progress. I don't like her. So why did you marry her from the beginning? Pressure. Then, Akhi, be a man. And if you fall weak under their pressure, then you're not man enough to get married. Yes, you must not obey them in choosing a girl that you not only don't like, you may resent. You must not marry her. Now, to be fair, sometimes you have to be objective. So if your mom brings you a girl and she says that this is a good girl, you have to uh, consider to in marriage and I'd like to uh, uh, see you married to her, don't block it from the very beginning. Rather, check it out. Maybe the woman is righteous and a good practicing woman. Maybe she is from a good family. Maybe she is beautiful or at least adequately accepted to look at. Maybe she is someone you would feel comfortable talking to. Give it a chance. 
go and propose, sit with her, have the interview for an hour and a half, and then pray istikhara. If you feel comfortable, even if she's not Miss Universe, there are people that you'll find instant chemistry. They tell you, this girl is good for you. You go and see her, no, 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 I don't want her. Akhi, wait. You're having ideas and convictions before even starting the interview. No, go without having premeditated ideas. Once you sit and talk, you may find chemistry and say, wow, this girl's great. She is like my soulmate. And you're hooked. Alhamdulillah. If not, then tell your mom, sorry, mom, this is not the girl that I was hoping to get married to. End of story. And no harm is done. So again, do not mix birrul walidain, being dutiful to your parents, with marrying someone you don't want because there is no relationship, none whatsoever.